Now, I'm tired of you using the Apostle Paul against the Old Testament when the Old Testament says something different about premarital sex. In fact, right. it says if you do have it, all you got to do is try to marry the girl and her father can still refuse or the girl herself change her mind. Right. Do you understand what that means? Right. Even if you have sex, it don't mean you own a person, stupid. Right. But it don't say you can't have premarital sex in the old, which is where Paul would preach from. Right. He wouldn't preach from the new. There was no new when Paul wrote the Bible. Right. The New Testament was not written yet. Yeah. In fact, they didn't write it until they were a lot older and about to croak themselves and probably felt guilty about it. Right. Mm. If you know what I mean. Right. Even the book of Revelation seems like the last attempt to get things John was supposed to say off his shoulders right. before he died. Right. Even he wanted to die with a clean conscience to understand. Right. Even if he was playing along with the other 12 who didn't see what he saw on the cross. Right. And he's the only true witness who can testify of what he saw Jesus naked. Right. And what he really looked like. Right. The other 14, including Paul, never saw Jesus fully. Right. More in a vision or more personally, but never nude, right? Either, either. Even when he washed their feet, he was still dressed in a garment of some sort, right? He wasn't nude, right? But he probably wore a girdle or belt around his chest, which is what John's talking about in Revelation, right? When would he feel it? When he leaned in his bosom and chest, right? Area, right? He felt Jesus' heartbeat too, probably. Right. And there was a belt underneath. Right. On his chest. Right. Only John would know that. Only John would know that. Right. Not the other 12. Not the other 12. Or 11. Or 11 at the time. Right. 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 That's why he wrote the book of Revelations. He left some details out he needed to clear up. Right. Including what the seven seals are, which is also from the Old Testament. Isaiah chapter 29 tells you what that is. Right. And see, you're not reading the whole Bible. Now you're barely reading the new and pretending you understand it all. Right. That's not understanding it all yet, idiots. Right. Paul taught from the old first. Right. That Jesus was the Messiah. Right. They're using some of the scriptures I use, like Psalms 22. Right. Right. Is one of them. Right. Isaiah 53. Right. Is one of them. Right. Isaiah 9 6 is one of them. Right. Isaiah 7 14 is one of them. Right. Mm hmm. Uh -oh. <laughs> and that's the whole point you're not reading something if you don't fully understand it right you're just glancing through it right the, have you ever really read the bible in full more than once if you haven't yet you don't even grasp half the stuff it's talking about and some of it sounds just as crazy as some of the things people were doing around them. Right. Now, you know, the Greeks, if you committed adultery, would stick a red-hot poker up your butt. Right. If you were a man. Right. Does that sound like nice, something nice to do? Right. Right. Or something that's not too crazy itself? Yeah, that's crazy punishment for someone having sex with your wife. Right. Right. You don't stick a poker up their butt. It's not the same thing. Right. Anyway, anyway. A man can never really fully feel what a woman feels, even if he has a sex change. Right. Because you're still born a man. Right. Though you are trans, I understand. Right. You do want to look like a woman. Right. But you're still DNA-wise XY. You can't change that. Only God can change that for you. Right. 
Now, God can make you a real woman if you're wanting to now. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Damn. If you really wanted to, I'm sure it can make you a woman. <laughs> hey, by the way, by the way. Jesus committed more. That means more than one form. That's what Peter really saw. It wasn't Moses and Elijah, Peter. It was his male and female side, by the way. Mm -hmm. He's androgynous. They're male and female, and all three forms can come from his one form. Right. That's why there's a trinity of forms with the Lord, not with Satan. Not with Satan. Though he's a false lying about his real form, too. Right. He's not a man either. He's not a man either. <laughs> Satan ain't a man either. Right. He's an angel from heaven, assuming the form of Adam before the fall. Right. Before evil is taken out of him, too. Right. And that's a different Adam. If I remove parts of you to make her, she had to be in you at least 50 50. Right. You're half male and female then. Right. And you've been taught such a good lie. It's easier for you to believe the lie over the whole truth. Right. It sounds sensible to you. Most lies do. Right. All right. Get over yourselves. Right. 